Okay, so what I want to show you today is what ARM have been doing in graphics over the past few years and what we see as an evolution in uh, the user experience on devices, embedded devices. Uh, I'll show you a couple of examples uh, from handsets from LG and also some concept work that we've been doing within ARM. So this first device is the LG Beauty. This came out uh, earlier in 2008 and what we're showing here is a 3D game showing some nice effects, interesting use of the touch screen on the game as well. And underlying uh, this game is the Mali GSR184 software engine. So this uh, gaming engine is the most widely licensed 3D engine in the world. Stepping back from the game, um, we can see you know, the use of touch screen for the user interface. But the user interface itself is a, you know, it's a fairly static UI. So if we contrast this with uh, this next device, this is the uh, latest LG Renoir. The Renoir uses a multimedia applications processor from one of ARM's partners, Zoran. Uh, this includes an ARM9 uh, CPU and a Mali 55 graphics processor. So ARM collaborated with the software supplier to LG on this user interface to ensure that it could take uh, advantage of the 3D GPU underneath. With this device, we're really beginning to realize the vision we have in ARM for graphics, where we expect to bring graphics acceleration to anything with a screen. I want to take a look now at some of the work that we're doing, which we can expect to start to appear in handsets and in the digital home in the sort of 2009-2010 time frame. Here we've created a concept user interface. So the type of effects you see here are enabled by the Mali 200 uh, and in the future the Mali 400 graphics processors which are widely licensed to the likes of ST, Ericsson, Cisco, uh, Telechips and many many others. And all these nice 3D effects are achieved using the Mali 200 which is designed for low memory bandwidth and low power, so ideal for embedded systems. Uh, this whole concept UI was brought together using the Mali SDK and tools. So through a combination of delivering highly optimized software middleware to some of the leading OEMs in the world, of collaborating with those OEMs and their software suppliers such as Adobe and Microsoft to deliver highly optimized graphics platforms around the ARM and the Mali architecture. And finally, uh, by demonstrating things as, like you saw, the concept user interface that we had to show what can be done to take advantage of the next generation of Mali graphics processors available from ARM, I think what we're going to do is uh, really bring a new generation, a new wave of graphical user experience uh, to any screen-based device.